what's poppin'? It's Mr. J Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, conversation series. I got unspoken ATL in the building. Ooh. Bree Snook, my guy Naja was here. Snook, is it? Is, I, we call you that, or I don't we know. Can call, you can call me Snook. That's what people. Call okay, me. cool, cool. So, um, I thought this was dope because, like, I'm like I wanted to do this, this, this collaboration. I feel like we have these great conversations. I've been on um, unspoken ATL a few times, mm -hmm. and I thought it was like. It's a great conversation, so I'm like, yo, let's do some bonus yeah. type of thing. Right. Like my yeah, situation, I used to usually do one to one, and I'm like, yo, fuck it, let's do this. So, um, I wanted to start the conversation by asking you, do but, you guys? So we talk about the <laughs> the, the, the the stereotype, right, or what mm -hmm. people perceive yeah. black women as angry, mm -hmm. and you say you don't think they're angry. You think we're misunderstood. I, I said frustrated. Frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> So right before angry, right, 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 right. It's like when you tell somebody to calm down, like I'm calm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But are I'm you calm. really calm though? Yes. Or I'm mad as hell, like what Kimberly Elise yes. said in Diary Mad Black Woman. Just, I'm not angry. I'm mad as hell. Okay, and I wonder now, because I, I'm not gonna lie. Like sometimes I do feel like we be angry, and I'm Blacks not or men, men and women, black mm -hmm. men and women, and mm -hmm. I feel like we take it out on each other. And okay. I was wondering, like, man, like. I wonder where that hurt come from. You know what I'm saying? Where does that frustration come from? Like, why? Like, why it, are we it so come, it's come, It that. come from everybody seeing it happen over and over and over again in different situations. And like you said, people not really speaking up on it, I would say. Saying um, what, though? Well, when it come, when, well, if we're going back to, like, the black woman being angry, like, we see them same type of story. We're talking about, uh, what, Fresh and Fit? We just seen that same story in other podcasts as well. They just got a bigger platform, so we just see those. But we see that constantly, constantly. That's why I think I think women are probably getting sick of it, really. I well, would say that. When I, so I challenge you because, like, when I hear black women are angry on a podcast, right, even though, mm -hmm. like, they are idiots. Like, I personally don't even... I'm surprised I even talked about him on this because all we're doing is all giving right. him more of a platform. Yes, I Fuck agree. Them niggas. I but agree. now that we're in this conversation, I feel like when I hear those stories, right, that yeah. those experiences, I don't hear black women are angry because of those stories. I hear black women are angry because what's going on behind closed doors. Or but I think it adds on to, I think the the stories is what's... So what it starts it's, at, it's, though. It's let's, right, right, let's, okay, wait, no, let's go back at. to right. where did the um, angry black women stem from? Yeah, what, Okay, here's at? my theory. And I'm blaming it on white people. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> no, nah, but no, nah, for real though. Let's, but let's take it back real quick though. Like when we think about like the system and Section A and housing and mm -hmm. food stamps and all that stuff, they strategically took the black man out of the home mm. and strategically made black women head of household. And so it was to the point where like some people weren't even allowing their husband to live with them. Or like, oh well, don't do this. Or, so like our roles were changed very very early and it becomes stressful. Women are not made to sit here and run the house, the kids, the you know um the job, pay all the bills, figure everything out with no help, no assistance. Mm -hmm. So maybe we became frustrated and it, it just came off as angry because black men are stereotyped as being um aggressive and strong and or whatever. Nice. Yeah. So the counterpart to that is oh yeah she's a str angry strong black woman or whatever. It's like mm -hmm. nah like this was designed to be this way. It was designed to have us hate each other in multiple layers and levels. Mm -hmm. We hate each other from the core. It's mm -hmm. like, how dare you not be in the household? Like, how dare you, you know, sit around and da-da-da, you left me, whatever. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, and then we, we're we now more advanced, and, like, black men are now more successful. You got the audacity to go with a white woman? Mm -hmm. Like, what? And while we were in the mud for you, like, while I didn't even have a choice to mm -hmm. get out the mud, and you're not even going to bring me up with you? Mm -hmm. So it does, it's bitter. It's like, yeah, we, we might be a little bit, and I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with being bitter. It's like rightfully so, because why isn't the man that I've sat here and sacrificed mm -hmm. my time, my body, my whatever to make sure you straight? Because people trying to come after you, kill you, shoot you mm -hmm. while you in the street. And you feel like because I'm angry or bitter because of that, now you're going to go to somebody else. So I, I think yeah. like for me, like through my experiences, right, just being honest, I feel like because um, I'm not going to categorize one like all black women as all like my experience. I haven't dated all black women, but through my experiences, <laughs> I, I've, I've saw that. You know, is a is a is a level of frustration and resentment from like I don't know like even if I make a mistake right or if, if I do something with a good intent but it don't go that way mm -hmm. I get the the aggressive side instead of the understanding side. Granted, it's some black woman out there is woman let's just say woman out there who won't they might be on the other side but it's like you should know it's like I'm so hurt that like I'm mad that you don't know that you need to treat me like X, Y, and Z, but we never had the conversation to treat you like X, Y, and Z. That's why I'm wondering, like, where did it stem from? Like, where did this, this why, like, why are we so hurt? And I think us, because, like you said, black men is a, aggressive or whatever, right? Like, you can't even go out on the street, and if, if 
if a guy bumped me, now I really want to fight. I'm ready to kill this man. You know what I'm saying? Because he bumped me. So it's like, where did that hurt come from? And I'm really, I think it's a conversation that we really could have because it's like, it's, we, we take it out on each other so much. For what? I think it's, I think it's probably from, in, in, in that magnitude that you're speaking of, I think it's about um, baggage that hasn't been unpacked properly. Mm, okay. um, as a woman, if I deal with so many type of men that have hurt me in so many type of ways and I don't deal or heal with that type of stuff, in enough time to go for my next relationship, it can spew into somebody mm -hmm. who has good intent, mm. but because they didn't do it how I thought they should have did it or because I didn't verbally vocalize that, I feel like he should know it. Like, I feel mm. like you should know that. As men, I think men are raised on being strong. Like, that's that's a, that comes from a part of their childhood. And if you're soft, I mean, if you don't show, if you, if you don't fight, you're soft. Mm. So to be tough, that means you're... You a, you a man. You got what? some type of, you know, so then you just carry that into your to go, your, your older years. To go with the, and, 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 and further in that conversation, right, I feel like that comes with the lack of communication, right? Yeah. So a lot of times we get these clashes between men and women because we're not communicating properly and mm -hmm. effectively, right? Mm -hmm. So what happens is in a relationship, like you said, I'm so used to, like, having to deal with my pain. So anytime something is going wrong, I'm a, I'm a fixer at, at, at heart. Like mm -hmm. I want to fix the problem. I want to mm -hmm. I want to get to the to the bottom to the, root. the bottom of the line, right? And what happens is if I'm going to work every day or I'm doing overtime, I might not tell you I'm doing overtime mm -hmm. because I'm just trying to ha handle what I got to handle at home. Mm -hmm. But you thinking I'm moving funny or I'm doing mm -hmm. something differently mm -hmm. because I ain't communicated, but I just don't know how to because I can never communicate coming up. It was always you don't, you don't, man. You don't, you don't think that the communication aspect start with with trust? Cuz I feel like that's the reasons why a lot of people don't communicate. Nah, I think I, it start with just our upbringing. Yeah. I, I think it starts yeah. with yeah. we but, talk about four hundred. And I don't think that go along too, with it to me though. I think that comes along too with like um, I say this all the time. Like I was raised in a dual household, mm. um, so a lot of times some of the things that I seen growing up, like I was like everybody, everybody looks at my picture or looks at my family like, oh, you know, I would have loved to have two parents in the household. Woo -woo -woo -woo, yada yada yada. But it was so many things that I didn't necessarily agree with seeing as a child, like. Just because I was in a dual household don't mean it was it was peaches and cream in the crib. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, when I got to a certain age, like, when I hit, like, 18, I said, okay, there are certain things that I just didn't agree with when I was raised and how my parents instilled certain things into me. Let mm. me try this route. Let me try a way to, because I grew up being very angry and not vocalizing my emotions and not pinning everything in and not speaking and expecting mm -hmm. somebody to understand how the hell I was feeling. Right. <laughs> so when I got of age, when I was, like, 18... And I had dealt with so much little, you know, little puppy dog, puppy love uh, relationships. I was like, maybe it's a better way. Let me try this method. So I started, like, really being open and effectively trying to figure out how to communicate. It took a while because I would get so mad that I would, I would, I would get so upset that I would start crying and mm. not be able to really communicate my true feelings. But to the, when I got to the point of, like, 25, I was able to, like, take myself back and be like, okay, Ashley, dissect the fool story figure out what's the best way to address your partner because every every partner is different mm. and everybody takes certain things differently so you have to learn how to communicate to where they can accept the way you're communicating and they can understand it right so now that i'm almost 30 it's easy for me but i didn't grow up like that right. and i wanted to make a change but a lot of people are so comfortable in what they are used to seeing they they're almost scared to Take a take a, a take risk. a derail. Yeah, yeah. And I think too. Like also like thinking about like the dynamics and like maybe we need to start creating safe spaces for each other because mm -hmm. you ever like um, hear about like you know like um, with your family like I can I'm a certain with my family I'm a certain with my friends with my family if they piss me off I'm like damn what the fuck like damn, you annoying like with your siblings with my best friend I might be a little more like oh girl you annoying. Uh. So it's like when I'm with maybe my partner, especially maybe even a black person, I'm like, well, shit, like you should know. Like you like I might feel like I can kind of be a little bit more myself mm -hmm. like or just kind of not have a filter as much. And maybe and vice versa. I think black men do the same thing. We just kind of be going at each other because it's like, you know, the frustration I'm dealing with outside. You know what I'm dealing with outside. OK, but yours is bigger than mine. And, mm -hmm. then, and then it becomes like an issue of we're not understood outside. So when we come home, we ain't understood that either. We ain't understood that either. <laughs> and we just feeling like, oh, well, mm -hmm. like we just have to figure it out. So I think, yeah, like it, it absolutely has to do with like, I think creating safe spaces in your relationship and respecting your partners and seeking out how to communicate healthily and yeah. like we, create healthy boundaries with yeah definitely i agree we, we yeah. got we gotta stop assuming too though yeah well i think i think assuming is the human 
Pull your mic closer a little bit. Assuming is the human the human thing to do. However, mm -hmm. it's not it's not best to do. So yeah. I feel like if somebody is assuming, you need to open up that space but to communicate. Well, I'm, well, I'm talking what, about the assuming as far as you should know. Oh, a, oh, 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 oh. I'm about to say, I'm a, I was going to say, I was going to challenge you because I, I think we a lot of times we give each other the benefit of the doubt when no no doubt should be benefited from. And, and what mm. I mean by that is you say, like, that's a human thing to do to assume. That's a bar. Now we could change that. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, mm -hmm. that's just an excuse to allow it to be okay. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And that's not right. You feel me? Like, yeah, we're human and we can assume, but guess what? We're human and we can communicate as well. That, and that's I, what I'm saying. Like, anybody's going, you can assume, any, anybody's going to assume. That's a human behavior. But they shouldn't. But, when you, but you assume, you're going to. Why? You because you're happens. just. But, but why? You're just going to do that you naturally. Feel like, first of all, but why is that so natural? But you don't, ha you don't but, but have the there information. Is, you're going to fill yeah, in the space. Exactly. You know, but, yes, you are. So, I, I, like, just like you just, said, like the like the the example you just gave. You so busy working and you wanted to make overtime. Mm -hmm. You stayed late for work. Mm -hmm. She made the assumption that you right, was probably tricking off. However. Right. You didn't communicate, right? right. So, so you left it up to her. You left it. So, there's there's lack of information that's there. That's my thing, and that's why I'm. So we're saying the same thing. No, nah, we're not. Yeah, we are. You're saying that you we need to communicate, so then assumptions won't be right. had. Right. I'm saying, but assumptions are human behavior when facts. there isn't any information to be given. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I I, we we are. Um, we're saying the same thing, but what I'm trying, what I'm trying to go to, ain't the same thing. Okay. I feel like this is my like my, my as 30 years old me right now. Mm -hmm. This is my my frustration with us. You know what I'm saying? It's because of this. We 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 this constant conflict of miscommunication. You get what I'm saying? And and, and and assuming and thinking everything is supposed to be this way and it's not. You get what I'm saying? So what I mean by that is, if I go to work, mm -hmm. right, and I don't communicate to you, mm -hmm. right, I don't want you to automatically assume that I'm tricking off. Ask me. Maybe I maybe I maybe I maybe I forgot. You get what I'm saying? Pick mm -hmm. up where I left off, and I feel like that's what it's like. We're we're so hurt mm -hmm. that we're not loving each other properly. I don't so, think that that assumption coming after the first time you go to work may, and not say nothing. But no, y'all be doing it continuously. But then after, I'm gonna tell you if, right. if somebody if the first time you go to work late, they're like, ah, oh, you cheating. That's different. Yeah, that's, 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 but yeah, typically, I mean, them assumptions come after like a week, a month, or whatever. It's like, damn, like when it's continuous pattern, right? But even exactly. that, right? I think like like we, we, humans get used to consistency, right? And once mm -hmm. you break that consistency, that's when we think it's different, it's weird, et cetera, yeah. et cetera, right? We I, like I what agree. we like. I agree. And once right. we see something that's different, mm -hmm. we, the first thing we do is what's going on. You know what I'm saying? First mm -hmm. time we got a black president, everybody, mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay, you know what I'm saying? So, and first time we got a, a president that spoke openly, everybody's like, I hate them now. We got somebody else like, shit, I, I might mm -hmm. do better with the last mm -hmm. thing. But mm -hmm. anyway, I say to say, <laughs> it might come from the first one, right? So if I'm going to work four year, five, six years, right? All you know was nine, five, I get home, 530. Bet my nice, phone died. Nice overtime. I come home seven o'clock, seven thirty, eight, eight o'clock. You like what the fuck was you doing? You feel me? And I'm mm -hmm. not saying that that's not human. I'm not mm -hmm. saying, but why? Why can't we break that? Why can't? Why, why can't, can't you it? communicate? I'm no. not doing that. No, because no, 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 no. <laughs> it's the I, communication. My, I mean, <laughs> my whole thing is if I break the routine, it's my responsibility it to make sure that I know why the like I communicate why it was broken. I, you can't sit here and be mad that somebody is gonna maybe. What the fuck? Because I am going to be like, where the hell was you at? Hey, but I just kind of feel do. like there's so many ways around that situation to where it wouldn't get right to that just, point. Like, you knew if you your phone was dead, to... you got to co-worker. Hey, bro, hey, right. let me see your phone real quick. Exactly. Let me call my, my wife or my old okay. lady and let her know. Right. You and, know. All, and all I'm saying, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not, yeah, not, yeah, not going to yeah. take none of that. I'm just saying in the instance that sometimes we get caught up and out and what's that, going on and but also too like she could make the assumption that something happened to you that's right. true as well mm -hmm. and that's then so you come home it, and it, you all good it's like and it's like well nigga I've been blowing your phone right. up for extra it's been going straight right. to voicemail are you in jail okay. and I'm now trying to you know what I mean <laughs> I like worried. And, but exactly I'm just speaking on and then the, you come in the house and now I'm mad I'm, right I'm, right right, right. But, but I'm saying how do we how do we channel that aggression because I think again and we I'm I'm not no Saying, I'm saying, because mm -hmm. I do it as well. But I'm saying, how do we break this cycle? Because even if I don't know, you tell me something, and 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 I figure out it wasn't whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. How can we? How do we break the cycle of constantly thinking somebody's out to get us? And that's what I think. It. That's I what don't I really always. Know from. I don't see. That's the thing. Like I don't think just because I may respond in a way that's not like, oh my god, baby, where were you last night? <laughs> that doesn't mean that I <laughs> think that you out to get me. It could genuinely be that's how I express concern or um i don't know anxiousness and, or and whatever that, it that is also like, go I back to like uh giving out reassurance too though for sure this is no, the no who needs it more we did the episode on that but like going you i think oh no you was on, you weren't on that one but she was but mm -hmm. just going back to like who needs it more 
Mm. Because in that situation, a woman would probably need that reassurance more so than a man. I mean, I wouldn't say if my girl was coming in late, I probably wouldn't have question marks. But of course, you, you could definitely. Have it, it wouldn't be you good. Like what's up? Yeah, yeah. You all right. Yeah. How was your but day? I think it'd be it's, it's a little bit deeper though than a, a male stand out a little bit later. I feel I feel like it's the reassurance part. See, for me, I think that. I'm up because I know I, I'm I'm a man of many mistakes, right? Mm -hmm. In those moments, like hypothetically, if you was to come home late, I'm a I'm gonna speak to you in a manner that. Is 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 not a, a, a assumptive if that's a word you feel me yeah, like mm -hmm. I'm a, I, and I might be a I might be assuming mm -hmm. but I'm gonna speak to you in a matter of where if we up. can communicate because I know I wouldn't want you to come at me this way even mm -hmm. if I'm assuming it's like you know okay. what I wouldn't want her to, to judge me or, or assume that I'm doing that when I'm not doing nothing wrong just speak to her now if it mm -hmm. don't make sense we gotta stop doing we gotta stop doing that too you know what I'm saying now well, it's judging. definitely about how you speak well it. yeah and that's and that's what like, that's yeah. what that goes back to like Creating what I was saying space, like though. literally like. It has to be that safe between you. It has to be has that to be that type place. of relationship between you and your partner to where you guys are able to right. step back and be like, all right, hold on, let right. me let me try to reverse because I've I've started doing that. Like, let me put myself in that person's shoes and let me try to see it from their lens. Although I probably can't, I can't tell you how you feel or anything like that. But let me take it from me. Let me not be all about me and let me not be all entitled about how I should feel. Mm. Let me step and see how you would feel if it was on the opposite foot. It's so hard for so many mm. people to do that. I don't think, you know what? I've, it's hard for I've been it, to took a, it took me a I've long time, I've been focusing on doing that too, though. Like, contra it's very funny. Like, my personality on podcasts and in real relationships <laughs> Contradicted. Different. <laughs> really different. <laughs> um, I mean, because on one end, I am like this. I am like very straightforward and I, I'm very blunt. I'm in that in relationship too. But like when it comes to like my man and like talking to my man, I always take a softer approach. Mm -hmm. Always. Mm -hmm. And I always try to keep the level calm here so that it, I can control if it gets up here. Like, you're giving you know, me mixed because first you said, nah, what the fuck? I know. I'm saying it's okay. Like I can be one way, but I can understand someone being a different okay. way. Yeah. If yeah. someone was like, what the fuck's going on? I can't be like, well, how? Oh my God. Like, mm -hmm. what is. She, I'm like, no, nah, I see why she would do that. Because yeah. I, I could do that, too, if I didn't step outside of myself. Right. But, like, I don't like to argue, and I know that I can be a little whatever. <laughs> so I always try to make sure that I keep it here. Like, babe, what's up? Like, okay, let's talk no, about facts. it. Because I like talking through situations. And see, and I that's like and that's that. me. I like to talk through situations. I got and to. then, too, I'm, I'm just soft as hell. So if too. it was to I be flipped too. on me... Baby, I'll be crying. Um, yeah, like, I'll, I'll be no, of water. And then look, and that's why I be getting in trouble with relationships because, like, when men be coming at me, like, what the fuck's going on? I be like, oh my god, like, <laughs> what, what, like, what do you mean? Yeah, I'm like, let's talk about it. Like, is this something we can talk through? <laughs> Y'all, I hit a police car and I got out of it because I hit it and I was like, oh my god, can I help? Like, are you okay? And he's like, no, I'm not okay. I'm like, I know, but I just, I didn't know, and I'm so sorry. And it worked. So it sounds so, like manipulation. It sounds like an act to me. Call it what you will, but like in a relationship, you gotta play your part. Like, I'm not gonna sit here. And be the aggressor. Did y'all want something to drink? Yeah, I'm not the only one, right? Yeah, I guess you are. Right, some just, cups right there, though. Fucking look, this look, guy look, is just. Look, I just came in the crib and just started drinking. So let me ask. Let me ask y'all this though. It's only you. You got some more. Questions? I think. Uh, I'm straight. I think it. Uh, I think it starts from the beginning of Absolutely. dating, right? I agree. So I feel like what we were just talking about is, I feel like you know, we don't <laughs> set them boundaries from the jump, yeah. right? So I might have somebody that might just be aggressive. I might have somebody that, not, that might not be aggressive, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like because I don't set them boundaries, that that plays a big part of my experience with you. Okay, so let me say this about boundaries. This is my issue with boundaries, and this is issue. what I'm. You got an issue you, with no, 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 no. I <laughs> like boundaries, but I find it very hard to set them in the beginning because it's so we're in such a weird space in mm -hmm. dating. The moment you ask a nigga what is his five year plan, he like, oh, this hoe ready to get married. I got a question, mm -hmm. Ashley. What would you be? Isn't that okay though? Like, wouldn't you want to be with someone that can handle those questions? Yes, I do. That's what I'm saying. Like, let I, them leave. I do. I let do. Let them leave. I do. Like, I want to, but I just also don't want to seem so. You direct. know, it's almost like when you're direct. dating. Well, not. I don't have a problem look, with though, being straightforward, you, but uh, I feel like I don't want to make the nigga feel like he on a goddamn interview. You don't gotta ask hey. him back to back to back. No, 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 no. And I don't because I try to strategically place yeah. these type of conversations and prayfully they lead how they how they post to the lead, but. Setting boundaries with me is just so weird. And then I find myself four or five months later, like, is Maybe this I nigga slow? Hard. I'm going to say something. <laughs> though. But look, though, we 30, bro. So right. at yeah. this point, 
Dating ain't a game. It's, it's, it's not. It's not a I know game. Y'all, I know y'all. But and that's <laughs> but that's my thing. A, it's like not, it's, you, you got to ask me questions. It's now. Not but it's game. really. I, but I be baffled, y'all. These niggas. It it be a game for these not niggas. Happy if it's a game, they they keep moving. It's, it's, it, it, it's like, a game it's because weird. if they have, a, I feel like if they have an issue or, the, or if they feel that way, when you ask that question, they mean that they're not for you. They're not. They're not even ready for you. Their their mindset going into it is no. Their their mindset going into it is different from yours. Yeah, that's true. Because if y'all had the same mindset, he would he would encourage you to ask some type of question right, that he right. would you know, engage yeah. with that. But right. if, he, if you sitting here trying to fill my five-year plans, shit, I just really And then, like, the question, like, they be like, well, you know, so where do you see yourself in five years? I'm like, well, prayfully with a, you know, child, husband, woo woo They like, oh, so you want to get married? Yeah. So what? I think and, that's and the, let the money that's the, <laughs> that's the, that's the, that's the problem. That's what I mean by the boundaries. I think that's, that's the problem. What yeah. happened is we skip past those things that we don't like. Yeah. To get into something with we somebody. We skip the red flag. Right. right. And it, I don't. I don't want to call it red flag because it might not be a, a negative. I feel it like when I hear red flag, hey, what's your saying behind negative, red flags? But. Huh? What's your what's your, what's your saying behind red flag? I, I feel like when uh, I hear like red six flag, flags walk I, past I, I hear I hear when I hear red flag, I hear negative, and it don't have to be always negative. Okay. Because what's for you is for you, and it might not have to be for me. Right. But when we, when we find something that's for each other, that's when we can grow together. You get yeah, what I'm saying? So I feel true. like it ain't about the red flag. It's about what I what, what's comfortable for me, right? Mm-hmm. And are you there to be comfortable for me? And if you're not, let's shake hands and walk away. You get what, mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But what happens is in that dating that we I think the word space is, damn, I'm feeling her. She attra- I think you said something about um, can you be attracted to somebody that you have no sexual um, desire for, right? Mm-hmm. No. And I think that's what happens. <laughs> we'll talk about that, but I think that's what happens. What happened is I'm so <laughs> into you outside of everything else but here yep. that I, I, I'm... I'm I'm overlooking the shit that I don't like. Because you know, yeah. y'all know that thing the where it's like, there's you know no, saying? like you can have it all, but not all at once. I, I feel like I battle that all the time. Like you be like, well, there's no such thing as perfect. Like, oh, well, you're not going to find everything in one person. And it's like, it, you. It, it but is. it makes and be, and get that. you, but it mm-hmm. makes you feel like, damn, like maybe, you know, he may not have this, but he got this. Like which one is more important? I almost, sometimes I feel like that, it's that, that stems from not wanting to be alone. I think so too. I think it stems from us not loving ourselves. I agree with that too. Because at the end of the day. I agree with that too. If, if you love you, let's. Bro. If you love yourself, too. you're not settling. Yeah, it, 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 it hit a nerve. Like, I feel like but even myself, it's deeper than that, though. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like yo, if, if 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 you if you know yourself and you love yourself, right? Yes. You're not. I feel like that's what is it called? Imposter syndrome. Like it's like yes. that's yes. what happens. Yeah. It's like, well, I can't have this, but I can have. You don't have uh-huh. to do that. Yeah, like, you know, you, don't you have can to have whatever you, you want. And then, yeah. but guess what? what? What comes with it? You gotta be strong enough to be patient. They go back to the being alone thing, bro. I really feel like that's what that's what yeah. You don't want to be alone, so that's why you you regarding certain things. You Letting it go, hundred yeah. percent. But like, yeah, no, nah, it, it definitely because um, you know, like someone who's like practiced boundaries, especially because I went to therapy or whatever. Like, homegirl, <laughs> I was invested in myself and stuff. And you know, you think about boundaries and setting these things, and I really be feeling disappointed sometimes. Like after things like end, I'm like, damn, why did I compromise? I mm-hmm. I know I shouldn't have did mm-hmm. that. I knew I shouldn't. Have. And it's not that I'm like, yeah, I gotta love myself better. I gotta and love you, myself more. And it's hard. Like it is. Spend a thousand it dollars. dollars and on you your hear brand. what you okay. and you hear <laughs> 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 you hear those stories about you know yeah. compromising and that's that that's good for healthy relationships because it's not all about you and it's not all about your world because right. you're bringing yeah. another We're person together. into the mix. So right. some things that you super super you know like Strong, gun, hold on. you might need to kind of you know but move a little closer we to. Should, that's we should at talk the about hour. like is that lowering standards? No. And that's the thing. I feel like that's, you should have you, non-negotiables. You have non-negotiables. I think non-negotiables and boundaries are different. But I, I agree. Like, I and like I feel like boundaries you can. Oh, I don't know if you can compromise. Well, you yeah, can kind of compromise boundaries. You can kind of make them I, how you yeah, want to make them. Like you, you shouldn't compromise your boundaries, but you can communicate through it, right? And I feel okay. like when it comes to what we're saying, right, compromising, mm-hmm. it gotta the the foundation has gotta be right first. Mm-hmm. I can't mm-hmm. compromise on a on a on a weak foundation. We all we all, both yeah, of us gonna fall. We yeah, gonna fucking crumbling. die. We're yeah. dead. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so like, all I'm, like once our once our foundation is right, mm-hmm. I know that. This is the one for me because of X, Y, and Z. They don't make me feel like mm-hmm. A, B, C, right? Mm-hmm. I know that. Mm-hmm. Now, because I know your intentions, I know that we're on the same page. We mm-hmm. can compromise of how we handle things. Okay. We can compromise if, I don't know, I might have a podcast and you might not like me talking about our situations. Okay, cool. I'm not going to stop my podcast. You know that, but I'm a, I can go into more hypothetical yeah. conversations. Yeah. Like, that's Versus compromising. It's, not, it's right. not saying don't do your podcast. Yeah. I, you know that. I don't know. You might not like me around girls or talking provocative. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll only do that when I'm doing my podcast or et cetera, et cetera. It's like, all right, I can deal with that because mm-hmm. that's work. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like the foundation got to be right. The foundation yeah. ain't right then. That's yeah. true. And just, yeah, and communicating your foundation. Like, yeah, you're, definitely. Yeah, you're right because, and it's like, don't go in trying to change people. Like, man, like that, that is a huge thing because people will go mm. in there and be like, yeah, like, I'm all right, he do the podcast. I don't like it like that. But maybe when I come in, 
You ain't mm-hmm. gonna change it. Like people are mm-hmm. who they are, mm-hmm. and be okay mm-hmm. with who mm-hmm. people. And make right. sure you like the person that you're dating. Like, do you like me? Like, are we yeah. actually yeah. friends? Yeah. Like, yeah. are we? And then it's like, Take and that's time the to get part. To know yeah. yeah, because and that's the part with like the dating scene that I don't like. Like even Nigel said, like you know, he doesn't know if <laughs> he likes somebody, and so you have sex with them, and it's like that's cool. But <laughs> no cap though. <laughs> no, but like no, that's facts. cool. But it's like, how, but how can you really honestly though, y'all? Like, yeah. How can you honestly build a friendship no, I, I gonna, and was, really get to know somebody? I was careful with that sex involved. I know you. you I, I was know you ain't that terrible, y'all. But I'm just saying. I'm with you with it. I don't. I can like somebody without. I'm a double down. Listen, I'm, I'm I, I am a love boy. I'm, yeah, I'm definitely a love boy for Drake. sure. But get a heart. You got the heart on y'all. Yeah, on get a heart. Oh, whatever. <laughs> In your beard. But be it's like, <laughs> I don't think I don't necessarily think sex. I think sex is like the, the icing the, on the cake. The icing on the cake. It kind of stamps. It's like because I I would rather <laughs> I would rather build a friendship and like you without having sex with you. How long before? How long you building that friendship before y'all have sex? Three weeks, man. That can that that, that varies. <laughs> three three weeks. That varies between uh what, what what we what we doing. What kind of friend you trying to have? Because like because then it's not <laughs> because because now when you start thinking that way, it's like the sexual thing is like you're you're trying you're trying to make it not intentional. If that makes sense. I like, feel like that's why I like long distance relationships because it forced you to be friends. No, that's like, why. See, that, I done yeah. been in two long distance relationships. Isn't it and good? We like Ooh, girl, are the well, best the of friends. Like we know everything. Yeah. It's because you don't have a choice. You yeah, exactly. You don't have it's a choice discipline. but to get to know you. If I'm, on, if I'm gonna be on the phone with you every day, all day, mm. Facetime with you, I need to like you really, really Absolutely. like you. Yeah, and it forces and you to. You know the relationships that that is admirable to me is those relationships that like that were friends, right? Like for example, like let's say. I don't know. Everybody like when you was younger. Everybody had that thought friend or some shit, right? I, well, it's a, it's a, it's we a still, real story. Still got it's, a, it's a real story, right? So like, I've since some, it was a couple that got married. Um, the, the, the girl said she was a thought. She said it. She was like, yeah, I was a thought and whatever. And we was just you know what I'm saying. And then he Damn. fell in love with her. But what happens is, you know, I like that. Because yeah, I know everything. It ain't no secret. I know everything no ins mm-hmm. and out. You know what I'm saying? And I and I and I chose to accept you. It mm-hmm. wasn't something that you was hiding and you gave me a show. See, I chose to accept my you. My thing like, with like having that. friend guy friends of the opposite sex, like I only see them as a friend. Like mm-hmm. it doesn't it doesn't surpass my mind. No stimulate your No. Because you can have intimacy in other ways. That's when you get creative with it. Because mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know if I necessarily fell through all this either. But <laughs> ideally, ideally though, like you meet somebody, you know you got that energy that you know like I you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And you don't and y'all can talk about different things and dig deeper into like take that energy and just put it into something else. Like go on more dates or but have it's more different. conversations. It's like going back to what we were saying, it's different when I'm discipline. in your face though every day. Have some dang on discipline. Put it Man, up. Come on, some but it's it different. Up, like it's Man, like put it that, up. Stand up, you yeah. weak in the knees. Stand up, for real. I think that's why people date most people too. And that's yeah, and that's I, a, I, that's yeah. I think to I think now at this age I just I I, I just can't do that. I've it's never like, been able to really do it. I can't successfully like if I, do I, I, it. But if, if, I I like it, if I'm dating both of y'all, right? But okay, I'll try, okay. <laughs> if I'm dating both of y'all, right? <laughs> but I'll try not to have sex with you, right? <laughs> but she led me here, right? So <laughs> I'm gonna continue. To, I'm gonna Am continue. Gonna I'm gonna go on dates with you. <laughs> But we ain't have sex. But if I want sex, I'm gonna call her. Right. That it's means not you have right. No discipline. It's, like you but, should not be okay with that. But people do that. All, I like, know every that. Day, all day. <laughs> why, you said everybody why, do that. Why? Why, why should he limit himself if, it, if he's right communicating? So basically, but what see, you're you know, saying but is, see, that's now. where double that's where double standards come in. Because if a woman was doing that, right. y'all, that's not yeah, true. But women, women is doing that. Niggas, women and men do that. Yeah, and you look at her funny, right? You do. You can't say. Come on, you look at her funny. Don't. If a bitch is having sex with more than three niggas, no. But like I said, you are looking at her, bro. I'm not having sex with But you're having sex. But she got eight niggas on her roster. And so then, what happens? What happens when me and you decide we going to the next level? What you gonna do with Ashley? Yeah, what you gonna do with me? Now you play me. Now collateral Wait, damage. Process <laughs> of elimination. Still, no man, we still on kindergarten. Man. I'm process saying, of this elimination. Matters, this is not kindergarten. This is real life. No, niggas I'm really saying, act like no, this. they do. But again, they children. I'm talking about the niggas as the, the right I way. I hate if, when people. Nah, say niggas. That. It's really the men right, out here communicating. The, the, the right way to do it is well, there are it's men. It's really that, men out here that's like, yo, oh, I'm dealing with the right way to do it. The right way to do me too. The right way to do it is to date. To me, if you're gonna date, date with intent. The whole sex thing, like I feel like sex is so much better when. Emotional. The intimacy is emotional intimacy is already Absolutely. developed. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Like if you can go, I'm and for the, this is for the first time 
ever that I've ever experienced like emotional intimacy. And when we ended up having sex, that shit was like goddamn fireworks. Like, yeah. Shit went off like motherfucker Fourth of July. Like, I, right. I, I, I literally only have sex with those kind of people. Yeah, you every you time. have to. I've yes, only guys, had casual I'm sex saying, maybe twice in my life. But I'm saying the I guys it. that are community because I, I I was fighting. I'm always fighting double advocate. I was fighting the other side. But I'm saying the guys <laughs> that are communicating like yo. I'm dating you. Just let you know I am dating this other chick. That's right? fine. That's what I'm saying. But you're saying it shouldn't be. That. Hey, look, though, no, 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 no. no, 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 no. What she's saying is she shouldn't. He shouldn't be dating how, two women having sex with one. Right. Why not? But what about her? But if he's I'm telling not, you, not, you, well, I'm not communicating that. He's not communicating. Because if he's not communicating, because if I communicate that, then I'm gonna lose her. I'm gonna lose her. But look, though, you'd be surprised. I know. And I told. I tell Nigel. Bro, you'd be surprised. People do it much more times than not, though, bro. You'd be surprised. No, I'm not saying they don't. But I'm saying that this grown, we're grown, we're fucking thirty. Don't matter. I'm right. sorry. So I'm, I don't have no, I'm just sorry. What I'm saying is, yo, if, I, if I'm t- yo, if I'm fucking with you, mm-hmm. first of all, where's your confidence at in yourself that you can't tell a chick that you fucking another chick? I'm, I'm just, I'm, just me. But it's more so of come, come on, it's, it's a respect thing, though. No, that's that why is I'm, respect. That's, 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 that's why I'm not willing like, to no, say that. I mean, that that's respect, respect. too, though. I, 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 I you not telling chick is trying to run game, and run game gets fucking, you, you lose. I'm uh, saying, like, I don't me. know if it's running I'm so, game. I'm so confident in myself. I it's think it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, you looking you looking after yourself, though, really. No, in fact, I'm not saying that, that, that I have never been in that situation. I'm not saying, I'm not judging or anything like that. All I'm saying is, I feel like it's more a player to be able to tell a chick, yo, yeah, I'm smashing shorty. You feel me? So, like, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. And then what happens is, just in my imagination, if you are that honest with somebody and they choose to accept you, you have no, you go, you, you, mm-hmm. there's no way to go wrong. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now, if I'm playing games with you, I'm, I'm, I'm finessing. Now we together. I got to keep finessing. I ain't trying to, that's a, that's, well, that's here's tiring. People, you feel here's, me? Like, here's people logic on that. It's tiring. My whole, and, and honestly, like when you're dating, unless we're official and we're a couple, a lot of people don't feel like they. Oh, like, I don't owe you yeah. shit. And I mean, to a certain extent, and, and to a certain and extent, that's you don't. Like to a certain so extent, you official, don't. Unless you have the conversations where it's like we gonna be exclusive or we're and you making some kind of promise to me. Facts. I don't know if I even want to know what you're doing when we're not together. You know Facts. what I'm saying? Unless I that's know what I'm in saying. That third so going back, so, what I'm saying. But sex, if you raw dog in or whatever, like that's see, that's 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 another level. But I'm just saying, as far as if I'm talking to a chick, I think most times. Even with women too, they they might entertain a dude. That at the beginning, they probably still smashing somebody they used to fool with for mm-hmm. at least a couple of weeks or to a month before they actually. But cut do you them care off. about that? No, though. But it's the same thing. You don't think? No. Mm-hmm. If I'm if, if I just start talking to her, right? But we, like I just said, but we ain't having sex yet. But until I'm still waiting on if I can have sex. You know, right. so I'm trying until she's comfortable. But I'm not finna sit at home and just be focused on. Man, you tripping? I'm finna be, I'm, I'm finna be <laughs> smashing. No, wow. I'm gonna smash shorty until. Wrong with that. Why is that a problem? And because. that's what I'm saying. That's not an issue. But everybody doing it. But not about everybody. I'm just saying, like, if like. Okay, wait. Did anybody watch The Bachelor? No. no. Okay, I just want to give a quick example. He on the Fantasy Suite Night. Y'all, y'all know The Bachelor. Fantasy Suite Night. He had sex with two of the girls, right? And the last girl that he really, really, really like wanted to marry. She was like, "If you had sex with the other two women, or says you love them, I don't want to be with you no more." And he's like, "Well, why wouldn't you set that, that boundary?" Because I'm trying to explore the relationships. But she's like, "I, th- I would think that Man, if this you is have the Bachelor. Feelings, it's twelve women and one dude. I'm me, gonna be smacking well, like four, well, four out of twelve. Think, <laughs> the last three people. She's like, "If you had feelings for me and you really wanted to be with me, then you would think of me and not do that." And all I'm saying is. If we're bullshit. dating, that's no, not bullshit. No, if guess we're what, though? dating, like we're why, on a what TV is, show. Guess what? No, for guess one. what? No, so. fuck the TV show. Guess what though? That's fire. No, why? Because we don't need to be together because we're not on the same I'm page. No, listen. You chased I, after her. Bro, listen, <laughs> I, I might have been out the game for a <laughs> like, together right that, now. That, that was for the ratings. Is, but <laughs> on some real shit, bro. If that's the conclusion of it, that's great. Because guess what? Now we understand that we ain't on the I, same page and we ain't never. Been I just but, like y'all be making sex but, so casual. But but, really but when not. you that but, is it might not be for thing, you, but it might be for me and somebody else might be okay. Yeah, that's why that, y'all so be why sad and cool. depressed because y'all just be bouncing around each and all these vaginas and stuff, mm-hmm. sharing soul yeah. ties and oh spirits and stuff. Don't bring want, that over I, here. I, I want, like I want, I'm, I'm sitting that. here being if I'm not having sex with my body and I'm dating somebody. You got some. But how do I know that though? How do I? How do I know that? At one point you said I can find everything I want. Now I'm like, no, no, I'm saying. Let me know where I'm saying. I'm saying no. I'm saying you can have whatever you want, but just like I challenge him to communicate whatever he's doing, I'm challenging you to communicate whatever you're doing. But see, that's the same- the, to me, that's what I would want somebody to communicate what the fuck they doing. Because I'm going to be honest about what I'm doing. So, want- like, if you are dating with three or four women and two of them, you might be fucking on a little bit or you go, you double back with I your mean, little ex a little bit. Know. Tell me that because guess- then that allows me to move how I want to move. Right. But guess what else, though? I feel like how you're... The, 
what you're saying, I feel like that should be communicated as well. If you don't what? want me to be smashing oh. somebody else and you got these but expectations see, but, see, see, but, but see, But see, that goes into what I was just saying. When you're first dating, it's weird. It it's is. like, it's the, like the, the nigga gonna be like, this hoe is nutty. Like, bitch, mm-hmm. who the fuck do you think that it's you wanted to tell me that Not I got to hold my dick? Well, I wouldn't, okay, I don't know if I care. The majority. I don't know if I care about that on the first day or the first week or the first month even. But once we, because the conversations are gonna start changing. Like, once you know that we are working towards this think here i don't feel like i need to be like yo i'm if i'm like cut your hoes hey, they go, they go back or, to the titles or, though huh once you get a title see then that's, you go but that's invest, the same thing though eight months eight months let me ask y'all this who, who's no, job no, is it no whose job is it to move forward in in, in starting that conversation if you feel like you don't in think, me it, it, it needs to be the man though it needs to be the man i mean and i i just feel like you're confusing the shit out of me i don't feel like it's that confusing i feel like i would want some i don't feel like i should have to tell you certain things but like if we're having certain conversations, conversations like move like you trying to be with me i think i think in those things i will say like yeah like um are you having sex with somebody or like have you cut off your hoes but at the same time if somebody just kind of assumes, yeah like if you moving with intent right like why, why do i isn't have to it, say like, if we've yeah, no gotten question, to a level come up if, you move, if, if, you if we've gotten intent. to a level of three to four months that we've been talking and you're like you know right. all right i'm really fucking with her why you gonna eighty six these other hoes up off my right. roster? Why do I gotta sit like, here and tell why you? Isn't it, not, why isn't it that something that's the whole job is to do that? Job, who, it's the man's job. Right. It's the man's job to communicate. You don't have to You might have niggas. No, it's the man's job to It's like something that you do when you're progressing forward with somebody. Yeah. Like, why would you want to keep fucking me, her, and her when you know that you're trying to move forward? No, I'm not. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. That's a form of it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's a form form of reassurance. Because we had an argument. When you was telling you was telling me and BC that that's not reassurance. Me, uh, no, y'all's argument was wait was pretty much if 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 you don't make her your girl, yeah, then you, you did she a, need she needs reassurance. You was giving a foolish ass example. I, 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 I think I agreed with Nigel. I don't remember what that was, but I think I understood. No, what we were basically saying because I was t- I was going off of, I was. I was going off of what what happened in my in real life about me taking too long to make her my girl and and the fact that if you have to, I feel like if if she has to ask you what are we doing that she needs reassurance. Yeah, that's what and that's not reassurance. And that's what that's that oh, was so the I argument. That was what the, my, the the conversation the difference was is clarity. It was clear. I think my call, I think what I'm just preaching for honestly is just communication across the board. Like if you feel like not I facts. shouldn't be doing X Y Z, let me know. I would have I would communicate with you if I feel like we hadn't already had that type that. of communicate. Like if we weren't already moving in that direction, I'm like okay. But I that's the well, but that's the look, but that's the wait, wait, but, but that's look, the question. Look, that's the question is, that she's saying. She's like, why isn't that in you to be like? You don't even really have. It doesn't even have to be a conversation. Right. It could just be a, a thing. With them. Okay, like, like if y'all have already had the conversation, she's aware that you got two hoes on your roster that you smashing. Okay. Three, four months, y'all into talking and you really fucking with her. Why isn't it into you to be like, all right, let me go ahead and cut these, these off? Because what if what if I'm just not as into you as you and are into so, me? So and, 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 and if you, you assume it because you're let's say when whenever that, Well, we're that saying switch, we're mm. saying that it's a it's a right, mutual thing. Mutual. Yes. So right, I'm that's saying, what I'm talking about. I'm saying but I'm saying because of the lack of communication, thing, we never know. know. That's 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 just, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Because guess what? At the at the if we're if we're if we're traveling down this journey, right? And then something switched. That, that make a switch for you to really like me, but it don't make me switch. We're different people. We're different individuals. When you got okay, when you got into a relationship, when y'all were just dating, did y'all did you say, hey, um, I want to talk about the the bitches I'm fucking. I just let you know I'm finna cut them off, and now I'm only focused on you. Or did you say, you know what, I really like this girl, and you just kind of naturally kind of was like, I ain't really fucking. Yeah, with her ghosted y'all. her, stopped nah. talking to her. You, so y'all mm-hmm. had a conversation about. We it. had a conversation because I was being me, okay, right, so and she know. was like, yo, like. Why X, Y, and Z? So she brought it to you, like, yeah, and that's, like but that's because his actions wasn't mm. following suit what he was saying. What she was saying I feel yeah. like if a guy, if you telling me that you feeling me, and we going, and I, I like so you, so I can't feel you and, and feel somebody else. No, too? not if we have <laughs> conversations that we're about they to be together. To. That I we're, mean, we're but working what's the but that, together. that's Why that's how I, dating I, with intent is non void. Right. Like it, you can't date, you can't date multiple bitches with intent. And the only time it don't work like that. And the only time that I sat here and had those conversations is when I knew that. 
the person I was dating, like, we may not have been on the same page, and I wanted to make it very clear before I decided to be uh-huh. more vulnerable and move forward. Like, hey, I don't know what you got going on, but I'm feeling you, and this is what I want from you. So I'm what's only, wrong with doing But that? I'm only doing that with men that I know are is not moving the way that I want them to move. And I'm like, are you going to get in line? That's why she, that's why she, feel, that's why she feel the need to express that. Right, because they're not moving. Do that. You I know what I'm saying? They're not moving how she, how, so how if she it's like And that's should. most, that's how most women move. So how if I feel, if I feel. Your actions. Yeah. You know, what you're telling me and, and your actions. If you kicking it with me every every weekend or every day, we going on dates and we that's having That's why women be saying my love language is not having to ask. I feel bad. Right. Thank you. I shouldn't have to ask you to cut off some hoes, man. No, I'm not doing that. I feel not even asking me to cut off the hoes. What you asking? If they're there, where, where we are. I just feel like that. No. But y'all niggas what, don't what, like those type of conversations either. Man. If a girl because, asks you, so what are we but doing? Feel, you're like, oh, like, but, hell. But look, though, but I feel like when girls ask, if you, if, you, if you have to ask what are we doing, majority of the time you already don't ask. Right. Thank you. Um, it does because it doesn't come in confusion. Anybody that makes you confused, sis, go the opposite way because mm-hmm. you shouldn't have to be confused. Men, one thing I know about men is that when they want something, you know they want it, and you and they going after it, and they being very no, intentional right. about it. Men who ain't, they giving you the run around. You sitting here looking crazy, Bro, like trying to have conversations like that. No. Respectfully, I say this with all due respect. Mm-hmm. I promise you. Listen, get your hand off my shoulder. I just want to make sure I'm saying this with endearment. You don't know shit, bro. I'm telling. <laughs> listen, like because yo, I can like you. And still be dealing with other chicks. Like, because you're a like, hoe, and right. that's your lifestyle. That has nothing to do with <laughs> my, hey, my That is a lifestyle. Standard. Because so everybody don't got lifestyle. lifestyle. They can't, everybody and, and can't do that. Can, so a, a girl got to probably come to you and say, AJ, I know you still in these streets, and you saying that you want to be with me, but you got to pick the streets or me. Uh, the niggas that I talk to, I don't got to do that. Mm. I, I've literally not had to do that. The, peop- the men that fine. want me have came to me and was like, look, they be asking me like, make sure you get all the niggas out your phone. Like, go ahead, clear it up. That's this is what we about to do, you know. And that, and that's fine. But I I have to ask for clarity. I already know, like you said, I already know the answer to that. And that's you fair. I think I just think I'm I'm just reaching for a high level of communication. That's really nah. Good. I should not communicate like, that. What that don't I'm even not communicate right. Like, bro, if you gonna be a hoe and be a hoe, if you gonna be in the streets being a streets, why the hell do I have to tell you to not do that? Because well, you, you, you said you said you said if I'm moving, my action's gonna show, right? And me personally, me personally, I can be a good ass friend to you. And you might be, you might think it's something totally different. I come over there anytime you yeah. need your, your, your tires change. I'm changing, toxic, your, I'm changing your tires anytime you need this. Look, I'm doing it. And I'm still don't even. I don't even want to be with you. For you how many good people didn't bust the windows out your car and, and try mm-hmm. and, and came and like threw rocks at your window because mm-hmm. that's what it's giving. It's giving. It's giving you in bed with with somebody and they come in. <laughs> What's the and bust through your door or something. Mm-hmm. That might yeah. happen a couple times. I believe oh. it. I believe it. <laughs> yeah, you live in a rock star lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, I, I, and that's okay. So but you what's gotta wrong know with me? Ask, what's, what, what's wrong with me wanting to have this ultimate level of communication? Like, what's wrong with that? It's nothing wrong, wrong with that. With but it. why is it, why why don't you have the intent? <laughs> right. Right. What why why does why what's, why what's do the you to you? like what we were just saying? Like, so we're dating. Let's let's paint this picture. Like, no, okay, we're dating. Okay, we're talking or whatever. I'm letting you know, you ain't the only one. Okay. Bet. You ain't the only right. one. All right. This we, is date one, right? This is date one. Okay. Shit, date one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm still letting you know, yo, I'm still dating. Okay. Right? But let's say on date 20, you start to like me. <laughs> month you, four. Like, wait, well, wait, month wait. four, you think that <laughs> you, you start to like me really well or mm-hmm. really hard. You start to fall, and you think that I should be liking you the same, same way, way, so I should be cutting everybody off because I'm still talking to you. No, but if we communicate, yo, I'm letting you know. I know you've been telling you've, t- you've been telling me that you've been you've been uh, rapping to some other chicks. You feel me? But this this ain't. I ain't uh, my my my, my, like my level of feeling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my, my level of feelings lifestyle. for you is, is getting. To if you on level, date twenty and you still dating multiple, yeah, women, this to like, me like to me to me that no 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 I don't see there's no agreeing because if you don't if you don't like me why the fuck are we on date twenty and you still dating multiple and you still like it that literally makes no sense that's no no because because by date twenty it might not make sense for you but I mean it can't make sense to you it does he must. How the hell you are you bored? Right. Why are you dating right. me twenty right. times and don't because, like because me? Because the sex is consistent. Right. Right. So that might We're be, not talking about sex. That might be. That might be. That might. But I'm not. That's even if sex was about. in it, then that's the sex is definitely in it by day twenty. So let me ask you. Let me ask Jesus you something. Christ. So now I'm now I'm a tree. Are you a tree? Have you never ever like had like a fun person? No. Bro, no. I'm not. Okay. Look, we can have fun, but that's all you are. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that was. Oh, cool. So there we go. So then you're not gonna be with me. So then. So then. Hello. Right. If we're at we're date twenty, 
and you don't see me like you know I see you. Hey, look. But that's what I'm saying. I would never know how you see me. You like wasting people's time, don't that's you? What I'm you saying. like wasting time. No, 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 no. I'm going to tell you. Women, I'm, I'm, move, I'm, 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 women, I'm, women do don't move like that. And and if she's a... if she's maybe that's the problem. Women do not... Women are not going on... If I don't fuck with you like that, I'm not making it to date 20. Right. And I'm still dating niggas? No. Even date five. If I don't fuck with you like that, we're not making it that far. We are we are fucking with each other like that, right? If we are yeah, fucking with each other like okay. that. Okay. But you start to fuck with me more like that. And I don't know that. I'm still being who I told you I am. Because you, you dating all these women. That's why you, you don't know. You would have been See, paying attention to me. You would have known that I've been liking you more than you like me. Well, maybe if you were paying attention days. to me, then you know we I ain't know. there yet. We know. If you, if you we know. Me, we know. If you would have paid attention to me, you would have known that I ain't even on that time. But you can't even communicate it because Bro, your, your own pride and ego that oh, is not letting no. you just say, yo, Then listen. why you not leading with that thing? That's, because I, you know, my whole conversation. You knew that you were never going to be about that time, then. If you on date four, you ain't never going to be on that We're 30 plus, remember? Like, oh my. First on day, I respect it. Yeah, By because on the first, it's like, what yeah. are you doing? I'm, no, I'm saying hypothetically. Come on. Again, yeah, that, yeah, that's I'm crazy. Saying, no. I'm saying if I'm communicating to you and I'm being honest with you, you like, communicated one time. No, I, no. Each day, no. Said, he said by date ten, he I still said, said I'm still, I'm still I, I, dating I, I, multiple women. I've been said that. Date twenty, I'm still dating multiple. women. I said women. that. Yes, okay. I said that. Well, then, yeah. No, that's that's not even that's not even a good hypothetical because the bitch is gonna be like, all right, bye. Right. There ain't gonna be no date twenty. We wasting time. You're wasting time. We ain't talking about them type. That means that both of y'all don't want nothing. Yeah. Either one of y'all. Yeah, like we're not talking about that. We're talking about people that move. Girls. Not people that are dating for attention. Been, yeah, been, and married, I've been, I've been and marriage and stuff. No one's doing that. And we still like together. That's so they the, y'all like wasting each other's time. Girlfriend. Y'all like wasting time. Mm-hmm. And she don't, have, she don't have she don't have boundaries mm-hmm. because not if, all she, about if fun she actually no wanted, <laughs> I don't need no more friends. I don't need fun. I need to create experiences with a partner. That's another level of conversation. Yeah, like if she wanted something that was real, she yeah, like don't nobody got time to be having fun. I think I have fun with my friends. So again, there you go. Who responsibility is to say that? Because I can't, just because we're 30 plus, I can't assume that you don't want to have fun. If I just got out of a 10 year relationship. My, so it's your, okay. Oh my God. Let's just give back the hypothetical. Go back. Even. We're on date one. One. You say, hey, you know. I just I'm, got out of something. I ain't looking for nothing for real. Okay. Cool. What's and I date? and I tell you that I'm actually dating with intent. We won't make it a date two. Okay. Cool. Thank you. And that's cool. Thank you. Not, so let's say, but you. let's flip it how I'm you originally that. said with, it. No, I originally said that I was wasn't, communicating. That, no, which your, but your original was, you was like, I'm talking to two other girls or something okay, like okay, that. Okay, okay. Let's go. So date one, you talking to two other girls. I'm currently a little... Uh, 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 I don't yeah, really know okay. what I'm... I'm trying to I'm trying to get my, sure, you know, my, my shit yet. wet again. Let's see what's going on. Let's go. Date, date one was success. Mm-hmm. We had a pretty decent time. It was transparent. I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Let's go for day two. Mm-hmm. Make sure y'all take our shot, ladies. Date two, mm-hmm. you know, same, same energy. We really, really enjoying it. It's very like, you know, like we kind of got the, we kind of got the vibes going. We got it. Like, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, let's try date three. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm aware. It's two other bitches in the... In Thank the, in you. the, I'm aware. Go. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm it's in clearly the chamber. aware. They in the chamber. Yeah, they yes. in the chamber. We know there's sure. two other bitches. They in the safe for sure. So by date three, you know, I'm like, okay. They still there. Yeah, they still there. We fuck around be on date four, but go ahead. Okay. <laughs> go they ahead. still there. Go ahead. But now you feeling me like I'm feeling you. Now. How do you know that? I'm cause cause I'm you right now. I'm like, okay, damn, right. I really like this girl. Okay, okay. okay. I'm really fucking with her. Like All she right. she really got good conversation. She seemed like she come from a good household. She, she got, got she got nice baby. Da- she got nice baby hair. What you know else? all that type of shit, right? <laughs> date four, mm-hmm. and now let's also speak between these dates. We're communicating damn near every day. Okay. Okay. It might not be all day, mm-hmm. but we talk Monday through Sunday. That's By date four, okay? y'all start smashing. We're not talking about that. Date that four. Thing, date four. Now I'm you. Now I'm like I, I really really up. fuck with her. Everything about I like sex. her a lot. <laughs> it is your responsibility <laughs> to either say. I like you. Let's bring let's bring back up the conversation okay. that we originally had. Okay. You know I'm feeling you. Okay. I like you. I enjoy your time. Um, you know, either I'm interested in still pursuing you. I'm not saying that I'm like going to cut my others off, but I do want to further explore this because I really have a really deep connection with you. Mm-hmm. Or I want to go ahead and you know see what this can do. Like we just be exclusive ourselves. Not I know day four is a stretch, but I'm just I'm saying following. like that to me. If you know you let okay, men lead relationships mostly. Y'all are the ones that do the proposing. Y'all mm-hmm. are the ones that start the, the relationships. For sure. So to me, I feel like men are responsible to say if you know you got X, Y, and Z going on. Just if I knew I had a lot of shit going on with a nigga, I would open up the door 
to say like, hey, I'm no longer fucking with them or I'm no longer in the mental, uh, the emotional space or what, I would open up that door. So if you know that you have the multiple shit going on, although you're honest, it could change. Shit can change. Bitches can fall off the map. So can I ask you this? Mm -hmm. I, I think you are right, and I, mm -hmm. and I agree with that. Okay. However, I'm saying why can't two things coexist? So if I told you this date one, right? right? And on date four, you're starting to feel me, right? I'm And you, you're starting mm -hmm. to feel me. What's wrong with just saying, yo, it's I'm not going to you? It's nothing I'm wrong you. with I know that. you told me you was dating these two mm -hmm. chicks. Um, I just want to let you know that at this moment, I'm, I'm, I'm not comfortable with that. What's wrong with that? I don't it's nothing wrong with that, but it's not. Men do not take it well. Because then a man will, listen, even with you being honest, if a girl was to come to you and tell you that, you would take it as, oh, this bitch is trying to control. Okay, guess what? Guess what? Guess what you just did? What? Full circle moment. You said you use your experience to judge all men when that's not all men. You use your experience. You literally said, you literally said men don't like that. No, the men you've been dating. Like, no. It goes back to, it goes all back niggas to the niggas. Don't, 90% but, of niggas well, guess, gonna be like, I'm gonna be, I, one, number one, let's let's just let's go talk back. about Lil Durk. Most 90% 90, 90, 90 <laughs> of the said. niggas. Yeah, ninety percent of the niggas ain't being honest. Let's just keep that a book. So you in the niggas that you pursue? No, you in the ten percent. I'm keeping it a book. We just got this. This is two. It's two niggas right here. This nigga ain't telling the bitch the truth. You telling the truth? Okay, so that's okay. a fifty-fifty right there. Right. I just proved that hypothetical. Okay. Whatever. Secondly, <laughs> with you being honest, we not getting niggas that's honest. And then if I flip it, flip the honesty back on you, you not gonna take it. You not gonna take it how I would want you to take but it. But you should at least allow the door to I be open. I can, but you gonna- That's all I'm saying. And, but guess what? And it won't be another date. Then they're gonna be like, yeah, but this hoe least, is crazy. Because what? these other two bitches that I'm fucking on don't question me like this hoe is. And if, But I don't think, if you're at, if you're opening the door, we're having a, 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 a grown up conversation. I'm, and you just saying, I'm just letting you know, I do like you. And mm -hmm. I just wanna set some boundaries because I don't wanna go wrong moving forward. Just letting you know that I still like you, you know what I'm saying? I know you're dating these other two chicks. I'm starting to feel uneasy, right? Mm -hmm. Even if you're not, if you if, if it's not a no-go, but mm -hmm. I'm just letting you know, yo, I don't know if you're still doing it, but right now, I'm starting to feel, I feel like X, Y, and Z. I think it can work both ways. I feel it like can, what's wrong but with that? It, it, I just think, I think that's unrealistic, honestly. <laughs> oh my God. I really wish <laughs> it would be. To get a woman to communicate to No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm saying I'm open to communicating, but the way that you see it going, it's not gonna go that well. If I tell you that, as a woman, you've already told me date one that you're dating two girls. If you tell me and that, you I know tell what I'm you, say? what you gonna say? I'm gonna say, I respect it. I'm gonna be like, you know, um, I'm gonna think on it. You know what I'm saying? No, listen, I'm being real because through my experience, right? I have an experience of cutting the chick right off, being right, real, like if mm -hmm. a nigga, like you said, if a nigga wants you, a nigga gonna want you. Mm -hmm. So if you tell me cut the chicks off, I'm cutting the chicks off, and I'm, I'm gonna get with you. But I, my experience, my Previous experience showed me that that's, that doesn't work. So in that moment, I'm gonna be like, you know what? I respect that and I like you too. But I might need some more time for that. Is that okay with you? If you if it's okay with you, then we can continue this. But if okay. it's not okay with you, then I might we might have to split until I might you might have to give me some time. Double with you. you get what I'm saying? Okay. And back. I feel like it's nothing wrong. Like and I th when we talk about dating with a tent, that's intentional. Yeah. Just like you said, I don't think I that's can, very and that's very nice. And, to I, hear. and, and I feel like I feel like <laughs> with you telling me, I feel like way. with you telling me, right? Mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. tell you. I can't. I think and I can tell you. But if you so happen to get to that conversation before me, it's no, it's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that's, no, it isn't anything wrong with that. And I and like I said, I like the honesty, but I just and maybe because I am uh, comparing my experiences, it just does not go well. Right, and man. majority of the niggas is going to say, like... She ain't feeling none of this shit. She like, I ain't saying shit. You just shit, gave me two that episodes nigga. that we going to do. <laughs> just got ideas. Right I know. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all y'all, talking. We, we talking about you right now. But, look, though, y'all keep, keep joking on me talking about the sex thing, though. But I really <laughs> feel like you a whole hour that, that changes yeah, thing. I'm, I'm not... A whole, whole but I'm just saying, like, it, it, it changes, it, it, but it, it changes things, though. That's what. For sure. Yeah, we know sex changes. So why are we even going? To me, I feel like alcohol. Well, feelings. Yeah, for sure. But I would want to just me in the age I'm in. I want to explore intimacy outside of the physical aspect. Mm. I can get, I can fuck any time mm. of the day I want to. I can fuck any dick that I want to. But I want to be able to understand someone in their emotional intimate self are you telling them that yes this is fucking this, at the beginning this show is gonna be well about communication. about uh <laughs> when we dating in the beginning yeah. i mean honestly i won't put a time i'm not gonna put no, no stamp no, 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 on sex. i'm talking about the i'm talking about the 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 intimacy with outside our sex. of yeah sexual yeah but i'm but i'm not like 
when it's I say that. It's not a thing that, that you say. It's something that you just do. Yeah. It, it, it's not like, yeah, I'm interested in. Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing it. It's just something that. <laughs> but, though, you expect him to be on the same page that's with what, that and that's well. why I'm Not with necessarily. It. Not necessarily because, I mean, like I said, we we, we humans, phys, phys, physicality can, can mm. come into play. So if drinks get involved and feelings and we fuck it. I'm not saying I'm keeping a, a hold on the sex, but question, that's not my main. I don't move with sex. If a dude, if, if you try to have sex with a dude, right? I talked to both of y'all. If y'all try to have sex with a dude and he says, no, nah, not today. How do y'all feel about that? Is he my boyfriend? I mean, he don't. He, ha- he doesn't have to be. <laughs> Damn. He doesn't have to be. Girl. You know what? Um, you I, know, I, that's I, happened I, I, to me before. I, I say, and it's I, happened I, to me before. Yeah, I, went, I, went, me I wouldn't before. even say, um, <laughs> I wouldn't even say, let's say, let's say y'all done had sex before. And then he's like. And he you just like, you know how girls be. I be like, Not what are you Like, what are you saying? Like, but I'm saying that, but is that like, does that make you like more it attractive to him? him more. Absolutely. Because mm-hmm. I'm mm. like, like, what you mean? You think the same thing? Like, what you. So let me ask you this then. Why can women do that? Force themselves can. on men when they don't want to, but it's not even why. Ooh, we, cause, cause, but I just, do you, like let's just, I just want to open it up. I feel like it's it's unfair that a woman can want to have sex with a guy that she's feeling right. Let's say even if it's her mm. man, even if it's her husband, mm-hmm. a woman can want to have sex with a man and he's not be in the mood and she could force her herself onto him. But even if we're married, married or not, if I want to have sex with you and you don't want to, and I force it. It's rape at all levels. It's not my fault that you have very low boundaries because women, we stick it to it. If I want to have sex with you, I'm not going to have sex with you. And what? honestly, y'all get pity pussy a lot. Bro, but that is we, sick. Let's Yeah, let's be around. You don't, yeah, I'm going to say what said I said. It ain't my I, fault that you got low ba- boundaries. Imagine, imagine a, a nigga. Imagine. Just Ima- let's, let's wait, paint no, a no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm not going to change it. Imagine a nigga, right, forcing himself on a chick, on his wife. Let's just say, let's just go wife, right? And he says, it ain't my fault you got low boundaries. What? That ain't Listen, never gonna fly. Well, like, no, ever. but look, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I'm using it's, that as, as, as here's the clip, my thing. <laughs> no, that's that fine. First of all, fly. don't put that on there without no context. <laughs> and I, I, I promote rape culture. Girl, I do not, I do not promote rape culture. But, but here's the here's the thing. Everything you said before it don't count. Once yes, you say it does because I have a different point. Go ahead. I don't. I don't. Jay, don't let promote, me go there because I don't go there. I don't promote rape culture. But I don't promote rape culture. But but what I was saying was, and the okay, reason right, why, yeah, and sorry. the reason why people may claim rape more on women than men is because y'all have y'all are stronger than we are. Honestly, like more you can power. really push yourself on me and force yourself on me and I cannot physically get you off of me. A woman, you could pick me up and throw my ass through the goddamn door like, bitch, I don't want to do it and I and then get up. Now, I'm not saying that men don't get raped because men have been raped oh, yeah. as little kids from mm-hmm. these predator-ass women. Mm-hmm. Don't get it twisted because y'all impressed Yeah, yeah babysitters. Been, babysitters and all that, but what, right. I, but what I'm saying is, like I said, that, sure. that physical aspect, we can't just ignore and act like we're equal. We're not equal and it's not okay. But what I will say is like, why do why do women feel like we can force ourselves? Because honestly, like when I'm with men or with my boyfriend, I think I just feel like the men are sexual. Like y'all always want to have sex, always press me for sex. And then when I want to have sex, you don't. You might just be, you might try a little think, extra. Like men do, men and, do that and, with women and, too. Like and, I'll say no, and then it may be like, come on, so, come on. But no, wait, that's or he'll let it, he'll let it slide for a little minute, yeah, then get and get up under you and try to. Exactly. No, 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 that's, that's a fact. So but, I mean, and, that's so all y'all can y'all can if y'all watch my content, I'm very very hard on men when it comes to this. But now what I'm saying is because it's women in the room, I think that it's so unfair because now we're in today's age, it's 2022, right? Fuck y'all for talking about my accent, but it's 2022, right? And, <laughs> and today's, <laughs> and, and, and today's, and today's society, right? Mm. It ain't just about physical rape anymore. We're talking about coercion. We're mm. talking about men trying to, it's all types of rape, right? It is. So when we're talking about these things, it ain't because I'm more strong, I'm stronger than you, and I can That's do that because women about. manipulate men into situations that feel like they want to have sex as well. And I feel like if, if we want to, if we want to, if we're gonna stick to this, let's stick to it because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm for it. I hold my my men, my my line brothers, my friends are kind of like, yo, because w- what we did when we was young wasn't right, and we was need to let cool? the kids know that it's not right now. Mm-hmm. So right. if a woman says no, I need to hear a yes, or I ain't going past that. Yeah. Period. But yeah. I feel like it should be the same. We should hold our woman to account. I agree. As well. yeah. but I, know, I agree. Right? I've never been saying no, but they really be wanting that shit, bro. This nigga is See, crazy. Look. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, wait, wait, wait. Let me but let me just say this. Wait, 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 y'all. Hold on, y'all. There's a difference between the no stop and the 
Don't say that. Don't say that. No, look, y'all, Ashley, be real. Be real, Ashley. Look, there's a difference between that no, like, stop it. In the no, in the no. It ain't no difference. No, it ain't. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not. All I'm doing is, all I'm doing is, Piggying off what not well, meant when you said, and go to well, yeah, like, but you got <laughs> that. everything. Ain't, that. Everything is not black and white. Everything is just, it's, it's not. not. It's, it's not. And he would. I'm pretty sure Nigel isn't a rapist. So no. if I said Nigel, stop. I'm no. Stopping. And he kept going, and we end up having sex, and I claim rape. Like, yeah, that. But that's what shit. happens. It's so so what he's saying, saying, what he, not, what he, he should, yeah. should take every no, no. as a no. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But as women, as women. We have all this right, like, but but like but like he's, but like he's like what Jay is saying. Like, like honestly, it's unfair because it is. there agree. are situations where that that little no, I really want the dick, isn't isn't recorded, isn't filmed. I agree. It doesn't have any type of you know hey, what I mean. Like, I agree. So regardless agree. of to protect you, him, exactly. Yeah. You know, it's just you have to take that no and take it because you don't know if you done yes. fucked around and gave that bitch the dick too good, right? And that's mm. you don't want to fuck with her because you fucking with other hoes. Yo, then she want to get raped. It that's can real. flip it a whole nother way. Absolutely, way, absolutely. Like, you know, I, I didn't had a situation where I had sex with a girl, right? And I was young. I was a fucking child. I was even immature. I just crossed or some shit like that. I had sex with a girl, just and, manish, and I uh, and I and I and I, and I was like bragging about it, right? And she felt embarrassed, and then she tried to mm-hmm. say like it was something what it wasn't, and I'm like, what? Like it's crazy. So like now mm-hmm. that I know better, right? I hear these stories, and even like stories oh, of real. like even with Chris Brown, yeah, like yeah, Chris Chris Brown, Brown, I, right that's now. the first thing even, I just. Thought but, about. but even like I'm not even saying like not even to the extent of I haven't done anything, right? Let's go to the extent like I'm a man, and and sometimes these conversations be scary because I'm I'm accountable by mine. You feel me? It's been situations where yeah, I've heard girls say we've heard girls say no, um. My no not, don't mean no. Literally, we just heard you say like this is what, but was a thing at one time. Mm-hmm. So it was a it, for me. It was a thing of oh nah man, she, she just, playing. You get what I'm saying? But as I as an adult now, when I see the shit that's going on, and I that's see the trajectory of my career, yeah. I already know it ain't even worth it. it. But I, worth I say it. that to say we need to hold each other accountable. Mm-hmm. It ain't it shouldn't be no no. But I really want it. You feel me? Nah man, I ain't playing them. I don't games. even play those type of games. Hey, but that's the same I, thing. Like, I say it's no, like it's up on people, right? I was about to say if I'm saying no, it's a no. But when you're, I'm I guess I'm thinking about like bitches that. Too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even yeah. know if grown ass yeah. women are We're, still doing yeah. that. No, stop yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know if people still doing that. But as but kids, that was, women, yeah. that was a it thing. That was a thing. It was a thing because you don't know how to like say you really want it without it being coming out. sounding hoish. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. So I mean, that's more or what it was. But I just want to clarify because <laughs> no, it's dumb. they it's try dumb. to put this. I, I do not. Dumb. I do not promote rape culture. And I do. Uh, think, I, mean, I do think that men. I do think that men like you know get raped. Do not do it like that. No, like that would be so fucked up. That would be. That would be fucked. No, no, you can't do that. Not the me too movement and stuff like no yeah, I'm please. not look you talking about the clip? I believe all yeah. the I the believe clip, all the, the clip, victims, see that's another real. topic no, don't want to talk about that <laughs> but yeah but anyway I thank y'all for pulling up um unspoken ATL yo I fuck with the conversation hopefully we can do this more often a um little collab thing uh definitely it was fun it was definitely fun. pull up nah, what's going on I feel like talk to us about the um what y'all call it you about to have a uh uh, a recap party? What is it called? Um, oh, no, no, no. no. We <laughs> finale. Talking about, you talking about the season finale. Oh, season finale. We're thinking about going live for our season finale. Okay, so y'all not having a party or nothing like that? Probably afterwards. Mm-hmm. But we'll, well, people we'll, can we'll, see we'll, us we'll, actually have a conversation. Yeah, like, people can yeah, view yeah, us engage talking. Engage oh, that's hard. And engage. I think it'll be really, yeah. really interesting. Yeah, yeah that's the goal. That's hard. Yo, make sure y'all follow Unspoken ATO. Y'all can give y'all Instagrams and all that, too. Um, Nigel Armani at Nigel Armani. Um... And at Unspoken ATL, subscribe to the channel. Nigel Armani, N I G E L A R M O N I, and uh, Unspoken ATL. Y'all can spell it yourself. And I am um, at Snook J on Instagram, S N O O K J, and on Twitter, underscore Mother Sting, M U A M U V A Sting. And um, Brianna Yvonne, um, B R E O N N A dot Y V O N N E, just on Instagram. Y'all fuck with y'all for pulling up. I thank you for real. Yeah, Hopefully this shit can go this crazy. Really no, we going Hopefully again. we can put that clip out and go crazy. Right. Mm. That's what we want, though. Go viral. You're toxic. And you get famous. You gonna be get famous from it. People gonna look at the whole thing. I don't want to be famous for that. The people gonna look at the whole thing. My thing like that. is, yeah. Before, before we go, her thing is she she already began heat on spoken. <laughs> And so this we right here, go, we all do, but she don't like it. Though. She but don't. She, she, she got. She got to understand. I love you. Just know, like, I'm just letting you know. I'm being honest. So don't. 
We got we communication. Got, no, yeah. spank that clip it right come, on it, out. It, it come with it though. But Never. see, also, also, if he try, him trying to get people to watch it, that's smart. Spank that clip. That is like, terrible. So you got you got you got to know the lie. I be telling people all the time. You got to know the lies. Well, he's being clip. honest. So now you know. <laughs> but it's I don't agree out. with it. I'm setting my boundaries. Hey, I love you women. Are... I just want to say I love women. I love black women. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I'm that one out too, hey, I just wanna let y'all know, man. I, I, I don't force shit. What but, the nigga you know, say? You know, you know how it go. The nigga said. I mean, sometimes they don't. They, they know me, yes. They're like, oh, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! No, no, we're not saying that before. We're not saying that. We were talking about. We were talking about pulling up, right? And um, when we talking about pull up, you know, girls might be like, no, nah, don't pull up on me, right? But when you pull up. It's kind of like it's kind of like I'm happy you came. That's shit. different though. Yeah, it's that's same not forcing shit. Your sex. No, that's, that's the same. No, it's not. Girl, but <laughs> I'm not forcing nothing. I'm just saying that I'm I know. I, I, I know. Oh I, I know when you for don't real, and I know when you not for real. I'm a convention. Right? Like mm-hmm. you, know, you know? How do you know it, that? It's, it, the, but what we're saying is the, that for you real, can, that that for real, and in not a real we're talking turn. about. But wait, had, also, no, we're we talking all, about being in a relationship with your partner. I know my man. Like if he dead ass, like nah, I'm not in the mood today. I'm not gonna make you have sex with me. Vice versa. Like if my man know I don't want to have sex, and he might do an extra little touchy touchy, and now I'm, I'm in the mood again. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, great. Like, yeah, it worked for him. I don't think he's raping me, though. But that's the thing is, y'all be out here fucking all these random ass women, and you don't know their nose. See, you can't be doing that with random women. That's the thing, crazy. though. Like, I'm, I'm talking not, about even, I'm talking about in a relationship. We can talk about even in a relationship, it's because women, like, women can be. Bro, we you, can be so manipulative. I agree. And listen, so it's like, yo, even though I do that, right? You say no, I continue to try to because I can possibly get you to move. Next thing you know is a conversation of, I just feel like you don't respect me. Like I just feel like you know, respect see, my parents. Like, it's bro, a different. But see, you only go, you only gonna get that from women that, that you're not that you haven't had sex with before. No, that's not. No, true. you can get that's that in strong, a relationship. Yeah, that's like that's uh, not. What I'm saying, I, I, what I'm saying okay, so we all don't have sex, right? We all been in that moment where we knew we could, and we knew, nah, that ain't gonna happen, right? In that moment right there, when you when you feel like, nah, I ain't gonna be able to do it, if you step over that, then something's wrong with you. We already covered that, right. but. <laughs> It's, right. it's, 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 that's the point that I'm talking that's about. That's the like, point that I was it's making. Like, it's too. it's like, like you, you, you said know, no, you can feel, own. you can feel like, nah, this ain't gone. So you saying it's, it's, it's up to them to stand on that no? I, in a relationship, I feel like stand on your no. Like you should have a safe well, enough should they space. Have to stand on that no? Well, okay, so then is it wrong it that you no? manipulate them to have sex with? I mean, like if you go, mm. if if they don't stand, that's they like, know they don't. That's like that's like that doesn't mean that you raped me. That doesn't mean that you took advantage of me. That that again is an issue with your own self boundaries. Like if I'm yo girl and you don't want to have sex with me and you end up having sex with me who are you mad at right that's now? like that's like when dudes be trying to have sex with girls and she be like no so then i'm gonna try to eat your pussy to see if i can't have sex afterwards you know what i'm saying can like you cut the damn camera you know what i'm saying <laughs> but that, that's real did. though nigga, that's did. real though niggas be doing bro niggas be doing shit all the time bro niggas be doing because they feel like if i do that <laughs> that's, that's gonna get me you know what I'm they're gonna get me they're gonna get me what i want I, well, you know what I, did, I did things like that okay yeah. like but are you doing that all the time bro niggas doing that 30 now i want to i'm gonna lie to me differently like i'm a different type i see i got a different type of confidence like me I'm eat your pussy and I fuck you anyway because I know you want to fuck and now, I'm just, now I got the upper hand. It's no, but it's now. like, but it's more oh so of like, you it's might not be. Now, yo, yo, now, now I, I got the upper hand. Right. Her reason, so her, I'm going to play a game, but it's going to be a different No, we ain't playing, playing no goddamn game. game. Yeah. 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 A nigga going to be like, let me eat your pussy so I can try sticking it. No, you ain't, but you're not saying that though. You're not saying that. You're going to do it. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying, I'm saying no. And I'm saying my intent going to be different. I'm trying to eat your pussy to get you tired doing. So I can walk away and now you want to fuck me extra hard next time. And now I'm be like, no. And now I'm going to eat the pussy and walk out? Yeah. Tripping. I'm playing these damn games. Cause, cause, cause it's like that. Fucking right, right, goddamn right fool. I ain't doing that shit. Cause that shit. No. Nah. Cause that shit like that. Nigga, eat your pussy. Nigga, eat your pussy. Then leave. Yeah, you tell me, me you're not gonna be mad. Fuck is this? Tell me, have a nigga eat your pussy real good. Not even. You just leave. And I, you know, I ain't gonna say what you said. You just leave. Now I ain't gonna hold you. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't did that a few times. I ain't saying real good. Niggas think. Niggas think. Yeah, suck some dick and go. Oh yeah. Niggas think. Niggas think. Couple hours be good. Now that's just because you can't fuck. Niggas try to eat your pussy for a long time because they can't fuck for it. They can't hang for real. Niggas, my bad. I'm giving too like much game. But what I'm saying is, let's say, already know let's that. say, let's 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 say, let you gonna be like, oh this bitch. <laughs> Say you not. <laughs> Say you not. You gonna be like, oh this bitch. But see, 
I'm yeah. not letting you give me head and I want to have sex. Yeah, yeah, I already know what I want. Yeah, like, I already know what's going on. But if you do, I'm yeah. not doing well, that. I'm not doing it to myself. Ain't no hypotheticals. Yeah, ain't no hypotheticals. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not getting nowhere near it. I'm going to try to eat a pussy, talk it to y'all. No. You said that. I said, I said, I said, people, guys do that. Guys do that. Nice. No, for real though. Like, because I be feeling like sometimes, um, <laughs> it's not that her no might not be because she don't like you. Her no could be because she just might not be in the mood. Right. Her, you eating so her you pussy is going to get her in the mood. I'm going to leave her there. Leave her right where she stood. You should have been yeah. in the mood. Man. It's over for you. Man. Dead. Man. That's what I'm talking about. That's what, you know what? The game. Take me off the, take me off the mic. I'm over it. Appreciate y'all for pulling out, man. Bye. Thanks. Make sure y'all Bye. follow, subscribe, Thanks all that shit. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. We appreciate it. Yeah,